as a student to go to professional places and see the atmosphere and how everything works, it means a lot. And it gives me an idea of what I have to look forward to. Like I said, what you're seeing there is our newscast that's running out of sub control, but it's going through to the CW station. And Jerry's over here monitoring what's happening at the KXA. Hi, Jerry. Uh, the KXAN experience is uh, really eye-opening. Uh, it really uh, showed me how things really work and the amount of work that goes on behind the camera. Uh, it's not easy. It's, there's a lot that goes into it. And then we have another one that's out in the hill country. We also have one that's in, you know, Round Rock. Um, but these are the ones that we use the most. Mark and Mandy will do a cut-in for the Today Show with weather and traffic in just a few seconds after this. We kind of time them because we're on the CW station with our newscast right now. We still jump into the Today Show at the end of every half hour to give a quick update there. Okay. So that's what they're about to do here. Um, this is our old school audio board that we no longer use. That used to do, you know, there used to be somebody actually manning all the faders. And the um, producer builds a rundown which you see over on the left. That's our rundown from top to bottom. Yes, the directors put in codes that as associate a camera shot or a live shot or a vid piece of video or graphic with what we want. Okay. So we've got the story, the elements of it, which is you know a VO or a camera shot or whatever, and then he goes ahead and puts the code in and tells his computer to go ahead and take that. So his timeline, works horizontally so he steps through it left to right as we go through the show to meet professionals it's real helpful because they can teach you a whole lot more than what you've actually known and it helps a whole lot be okay police plan to search the suspect's home over to Mark now for the latest on your weather. Thanks so much, Sally. Good morning, everyone. 96 degrees. We hit it one time this year so far. It was in late April. So far, uh, we met a handful of professionals, and uh, it's quite a humbling experience because when you go into something like this, you start to realize that these people put a lot of work into it. And if you put uh, the amount of effort into it and work hard, it's going to pay off just like for those professionals. Turn on the generator. Make sure it turns on. You have a generator here to power all this, no? Yes, and the generator's turned on right here. Mm -hmm. Hold it down until you hear the motor start. How big is it? Uh, 35? Uh, uh, I can show it to you. It's on this side of the truck. <laughs> the you gotta maintain it and put oil in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when it's cold, we uh, make sure that it's on on our way to the story because it, it keeps it, takes, it warms yeah, it up. Takes you know? It won't die on us. And stuff. Yeah. So then you gotta make sure that the power racks are on. These are the racks, and they're they're named right here. It says rack power one, rack power two, rack power three. And you need to put the the mast and pan it to wherever you wanna. Okay. Yeah. The orientation. Meeting the professionals I've met um, so far um, while I've been here has been a great experience for me. Um, it's, it's inspirational because um, I want to be a professional one day. 